Today I'll be showing you how to bend tubing with the swedge lock quarter inch benders. These have a 9 16 radius. Here's your tube latch, which is how you hold your tube in place. Here is your roll support and your bender die. So your zero right here will be used just to line up the zeros and make sure your lines are on on the your tube is uh, lined up to the to these lines. The 45 is used for a 45 bend. The R is used for a reverse bend. And the L is used for a 90 degree bend. These lines right here, don't, don't worry about them. I'll explain them later. <clears throat> so, if I'm trying to bend a 90, let's say I want to bend this piece of tubing, which I already pre-marked at three inches so I measure from here on over mark it right at three inches then I'll get my marker and make the mark all the way around so once you bend from here to here is three inches so the center of your tube will be at three inches so you grab the tubing open your latch up you pull your handle up your roll support you put it in there, and since I'm trying to bend a 90, I'm going to pull it right about here. Right there. See if I get this camera to focus. Okay. I'll pull it right there. I align the zeros. Looks like I need to go back a little bit. Align the zeros. And it looks pretty good right there. Hold on. I get the camera to focus a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good right there. So all I do is just bend away. So I already started bending. I want to get it. Oh, I want to get the zero to touch um, the ninety. So I go all the way down to where it touches 90 degrees and I stop and I check it because there's spring back there's a thing called spring back after you bend all the way it'll spring back you see that so sometimes I uh, I just check if it's straight with with the actual handle it looks like it's a little off and see I'm still Passing up the 90 just a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just all it takes is this. Just pass it up just a little bit and then pull it out and you got your bend. There goes your mark. Let's let's make sure it's squared. So if it's squared, it should line up. Um, it's a it's a little past the 90 all you have to do is hold it and bend it back a little bit it looks a little better okay so now if we measure it the center of the tube should be at three inches so I put my measuring tape right here and see right about there is three inches to the to the center of my tube with tubing you're always working center to center because that's where your measurements are you're always doing center to center and then if you want your next bend just uh, measure so I mark it at three inches right about there I'm gonna make the line all the way around with the sharpie so you don't lose your your line And after that, a good thing to do is <clears throat> figure out where you want to, which way you want to bend it. Put a line going along the tube on the top of the bend. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend it this way. I'm gonna put a line on the top. So I'm gonna turn the tube and put a line on the very top. Just a small line. It doesn't have to be big. Just to remind me that I'm gonna bend downward. Okay, so you mark the top, and you put it back in your bender. 
and you have to get used to the bender being in your hand after that you you will swing it around and throw it around like like it's just natural okay and to uh, align these to make sure you you get it so it's not crooked you want to straight you want to align this piece of tubing to this handle that's how you figure out and make sure that it's right and squared so if you look at it, it's kind of off and if I were bending it the opposite way let me, let me show you if I were bending it the opposite way I pick this handle up make sure it's tight and in order to determine if it's squared I'd look at it this way and try to square it up See, that looks that looks pretty straight so we want it going downward let's make sure it's still on our line so it moved a little bit as you can see so I want to pull it back make sure it lines up right there it's good enough for me so you just bend bend it again make your zero touch your 90 and once it does release it make make sure it, uh, you get the spring back out of it you see how this kinda looks like it's it's going up and don't pass your 90 up too bad just uh, try to get this to go straight with the handle and I mean right there looks pretty good so you just open it up pop your latch open comes out and let's see if we hit our hit our measurement we're aiming for so let's see I said three inches center to center and I'm gonna hold it about center right here center to center it's just on the money right there three inches center to center thanks for watching